Hey there, this is Ill Factor from BeatAcademy.com. And in this video, I wanna share with you how I use the Greg Well Signature Series plugins by Waves in my music production workflow. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So let me start by playing a little bit of the song. I'll take it from verse one. So let's focus our attention on those vocals. So the vocals were sent back to me to continue on adding some more production in the song. So I've got a stereo vocal track, so I'm gonna go and use the voice-centric stereo plugin. So I'm gonna click, drag, and drop that onto the vocal track. Now hitting the ground running, I love what I see. It's just one knob, so you can't really mess that up, right? You're basically allowing your ears to do the driving and not your eyes. And what's cool about that is you're really just saying, what is, what flavors is this plugin adding to my vocals? And that's important because I think sometimes we can lose that by getting hung up on all the little details that certain plugins could add. It could be really good and very helpful, but there's sometimes where just having one knob could really help do the trick. It just focuses in on what we gotta do. So let's just go ahead and crank the intensity. Now, by default, we've got a little bit of reverb and a doubler on there. Now, I like to get a little bit more uh, width from that. So I'm gonna crank the doubler a little bit more, and I'm gonna actually lessen the reverb and turn on the delay here. I am about to break. It's getting heavy on my shoulders and I just can't hold the weight. Now, I notice there's a little bit of gain reduction there. So what I'm gonna do is just increase the input just to get a little bit more gain reduction and just give a nice evened out performance from the vocals. I am about to break. It's getting heavy on my shoulders and I just can't hold the weight. Let's bypass that. I am about to break. It's getting heavy on my shoulders and I just can't hold the weight. Yeah, I love what it's doing to the vocals. It really brought it back to life. Now having the delay and a doubler for some stereo width and the reverb helps it create some space and sit in the mix a lot better. And it also just pops right out. And so this is really helping me get in the vibe in the zone to add a little bit more production to finish up this track. Now let me head over to the chorus section because there's a, an affected vocal that I would love to use some of the doubler effect from the voice centric on. So here is the affected vocal. We've got it filtered out and distorted. Where I belong. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the voice centric, put that after my uh, filtering and distortion. And then what we're gonna use is, well, let's just mess around with it and see what, until we get something that we like. That's a little bit delay and some double. Cool. And now what I'll do is just lower that down. I'm going to just full on stun the doubler and that's going to give some, uh, actually cause a really cool effect. A little bit more reverb. So I'm kind of using this, uh, just the effect section more to kind of create a specific type of tone for this track. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use another plugin in this collection, the Piano Centric, to add a little shimmer to some chords I have playing in the chorus. So let me click and drag that onto these chords here. And let's just brighten this up. And I'm gonna add a little bit more doubling. So now let's see what it sounds like with everybody else. All 
definitely helps stick out a little bit more in the mix. So it's really cool. But now I want to use the same plugin, the piano centric, but this time on guitar. Say what? Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to be using it more so as an effect than trying to, you know, treat or have it balance in the mix. So let's head over to this section here where it drops out and it's just a guitar vocal and there's a little break over here. I know I lost my way. So what I'll do is I'll grab the piano centric, put that on the guitar track. And then what I'm going to do is um, when you turn the knob to the left, you see how the piano roll darkens. It actually gives you a really cool filtered out effect. So let me just solo the guitar. So it's kind of cool. I mean, it's piano centric, but we're using some of the cool parameters inside this plugin to add an effect to this guitar part here, just to add a little bit more dynamics to the actual arrangement. So what I'll do is here in Ableton Live, I'm going to open up this window here and it's going to allow me to control the piano knob so I can determine where this is going to go or, or how, how much of this effect I will be adding. So I'll just right click here, show automation. And then what I'll do is just draw this in. So I'll let me find a sweet spot. Let's find a place where we like it. That's cool. So what I'll do is I'll automate that piano, maybe just to go just a little movement there and then come back down. But I don't want this throughout the whole track. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, turn this plugin on and off and it'll show me that parameter here. So I only want this plugin to turn on for this section. So let's turn that on. So we get the normal guitar and then we go into the piano centric plugin. Maybe just crank up a little bit of that doubler there and see what that sounds like during the break. I've gotten deeper than I wanted and I just can't pull away. But you don't know what it's really like to be Cool. So we can use it as adding like as a plugin to add dynamics even to our arrangements. And speaking of arrangement, let's go ahead and focus on using the mix centric plugin. And I'm going to click and drag that onto my master bus. Everything in this project is going to run through this plugin. And once again, it's just one knob, turn it and get a better sound. And you gotta love that. So it just really makes it easy to just dial in the taste that you're looking for on your mix. And so let me go ahead and just play and turn the intensity until I get something I like. So it's amazing the tone that this is giving the overall mix. And the way I've been personally using it is maybe as a starting point. I was like, well, let me dial in so I get it to a nice sweet spot. Um, and then I can go back into the mix and just balance things out And while this is on there. And then I can go ahead and if I need to make any minor adjustments, I can add an EQ. If I wanted more compression, I could do that. But it's a great starting place um, for the overall mix to be in. And it's just so simple. It's just the knob. You dial it to where you want it, and there you go. Mm -hmm. 